Hunter x Hunter 345, Ging and Gone. I, I love that they can communicate with each other. They can just call each other. I, 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 there's a lot here I really love. Okay, no, the whole thing, the first page is Gone is normal, right? And he's able to talk to, to, to Ging about it. And right there at the end, Ging's like, look, that's what you wanted. You wanted to be normal. You're normal. If you want more, there's going to be a price. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there has to be, okay? So there, maybe there's even an entire arc about getting his power, his friends have to help him, you know, get his powers back, right? Maybe that's that's what happens. That would be awesome, you know? There has to be some huge, it has to be some huge, major, gigantic thing that has to happen. And the whole thing that his friends would do it for him would be just utterly amazing. I love it. Okay, Gone <laughs> returns to Whale Island. A lot of great things happen there. Character growth, right? I, you have no idea how much I love this. Ging is not so much my father as an amazing relative, right? Because he didn't really raise him. Okay, the biologically he's his father. I just I, I love that he's processed this. He's he's it's very mature. He's got that laid down. And then the whole thing, his cousin Mito, is is not his biological mother, but is the real mother because that's who raised him. You know, just I, I love it. So he's got this all all squared away. Now, motivation. Okay, I love how Gon <laughs> completes the last part of his quest. It wasn't really finding his father, it's processing it, right? What it means, he sit there and he's processed, you know, what it means, his relationship to, to his father and everything when he met him, and I, I just love that. And as soon as that's done, that to me is really the end of the whole thing that he set out for, a whale island, right, to find the father. He's, he's, found, he's gone home and did that last little part, just processed it. And then Mito reminds Gon, he's just a kid. And welcome back to reality, right? He he legally should be in school, and she's talked about all this garbage, that pa massive paperwork that's been piled on her, and all this this junk, right? And she's like, look, kids that go to school do a hundred times more work than you do, you know. And uh, she doesn't really know what he's done, but still, I mean, and gone gone's new. So, but think of it this way: what is gone's motivation? It was to get his father. So literally. What does he want to do? And he's he's been kind of, you know, I mean, it wasn't like, I'm going to get my new powers back. No, he's been kind of just, you know, maybe I'll just chill for a while. And now reality has smacked him in the face with Mito's help. And I, what I think is Mito doesn't realize, or maybe she does. That's kind of a question. Does she really realize that she's really driving him out? You know, it may she may not realize what she's doing, but she's giving him all the motivation that he needs to want to get his powers back so that he can get off of Whale Island. He, he's, he's been a hunter. I mean, he still is, I guess, technically. But, I mean, he, you know, he's tasted that. He's done that. So he's going to, I think eventually he would have got it. But this has just sped things up. So motivation, once again, Tagashi is just amazing. Okay. And the whole battle for number two, uh, I, I was misunderstanding it. I thought this was either Periston or Ging was going to be one and two. and But Beyond is one. So I guess that means Periston's number three now. I, I, I guess that's that's how it works. But anyway, so I, I really misunderstood how that was working. Now Ging saw through Periston's lie, right? The whole thing. Remember back, he was gonna. We're gonna go there. We're gonna get ahead of him. We're gonna hunt. You know, we're gonna we're gonna hunt beyond. We're gonna tell him. That's the way. That's what hunters do. We're gonna hunt beyond, right? Because he he's thinking Ging doesn't know that 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 uh, beyond is really in charge of the whole thing. So he's gonna end up turning on Ging, right? And then Ging sees through the whole temporary hunter thing, right? Which, which I guess they are. But he says, he says you're really specialists, right? For the Dark Continent, right? So he knows this, and Periston's not happy with this. And then he goes and he looks, and he, and he goes, look, there's more than ten of you, okay? I know there's more than ten of you. So you go tell them, have them told, and then you know the money and all this. So. I'm sure Ging's got a ton of money, right? He's probably got more money than, than you know, he, he'll ever know what to do with. Now, another thing that happens through all this is Periston's not happy, but he's warped. Now, Periston is like, for the first time ever, I'm going to hate somebody. But everything kind of seems reversed, you know. So the best thing ever for Ging might be that Periston absolutely just totally hates him. That might be the best thing ever. Okay. Okay, and then we get a complete switch, right? Girls in a club get picked up 
by um, the helper or somebody working for the fourth prince, Mark, I think his name is. And, um, yeah, Mark. And that was a thrown off. Okay, I didn't expect to be in a club with girls dancing. You know, it wasn't, wasn't you know, it was okay. It wasn't unpleasant. Uh, but at first he seems, the prince seems like a recluse, and he wants to tell me your story. So he seems like somebody, a shut-in. It's just people are brought into him to his presence to tell him because he's just too afraid to go outside. And I have a, a theory that he was some he was somebody hurt kind of a person. He was a sympathetic individual and that would be the problem that Karupika would have when he meets the prince. He would find that he likes him because he's just a sympathetic person. You're already laughing. I can, I can hear it because I was, I was way wrong on this. I mean, I went, whoa, okay. Hey, and the quote, hey Mark, all those girls wanted to talk about was fashion and effing. Fourth Prince washing blood off and talking about skinning, and then there was blood all over the place, and I'm like, you know, and panel after panel, I'm like, whoa, we went to a really dark place. Okay. What I want, in the quote, is what I want is a piece of inspiring art that young people with a future bring about when confronted with extreme situations. Yeah, so much for my theory. That, okay, this guy's, a, this guy's, you know, Prince the Butcher, you know, or the Ripper or whatever. Prince the Ripper. Okay, so much for that. Okay, and then we get to Cheadle and the whole Hunter, Hunter organization. And they kept this kind of short because the whole thing with Cheadle and beyond, I think we all knew it was going to happen. Okay. Um, they've been told the Hunter organization, if Beyond creates any problems, you guys are going to take the fall. We, I think we already knew this. It's just officially just walking through the steps of it. And, of course, Beyond is going to sign. Beyond would have signed anything at this point because he just, I mean, they're not gonna be able to, I don't think they're going to be able to control this guy when he gets over there. But I, I'm really curious about Beyond because you, really you don't really know for sure what, even if he's a bad guy, how that's going to, turn out, right? It, he just may be someone that just wants to, you know, push himself to the limits beyond, right? So he may not be totally evil, but we'll find out, you know. <laughs> I mean, he may not be butchering people just to make art. Okay, and then I was a little confused because they showed the three panels. And, um, there are three things left. Capacity, and it shows the hunters. I guess the amount of people are going to take over, which Ging was already talking about a maximum of about 25, any, any, any more than that would be, because you have to figure there's 25 people, there's the equipment, you know, he's going through all the technical stuff, you know, anything bigger than that, there's going to be a lot of problems. Uh, the next panel, uh, the means, right, the financial stuff, is the fourth Prince, you know, <laughs> the Ripper, <laughs> Prince the Ripper, and two, and, and of course, there had to be two young ladies in the doorway getting brought in to get slaughtered, so you just, I mean, whoa. Okay, and then the third is the contract with Ging. And there's the woman that kept asking questions, the one with the crazy looking glasses and the hair and all that. And it looks like Ging has always surmised that this is someone that really is engaged intellectually in what's going on. And it looks like she is going to be his main assistant. That's what it's looking like. She's real bookish and everything, and that looks to be someone that he's going to start relying on. Okay, They're pretty interesting. Okay, and then we get to the wrapping kind of the whole Karupika thing up. I, I can't wait to see the dynamics of this because I took it the wrong way. It's the other way. Now Karupika doesn't want to kill. He said the other people that had the eyes, he was able to, they, they thought they would die before they gave him up, but they gave him up. And what happens when he, when he, when he runs across someone that's willing to die? That is a complete piece of garbage. Okay, utter, complete, crazy piece of garbage. Like I say, is he gonna? Be, is does Karupika have the ability to not kill someone that, that 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 literally skins people alive? It looks like skins them alive just for kicks for art. I don't think Karupika can walk away from this. I think that, and, and that's going to create a lot of other problems and dynamics and everything else. So this is, uh, I love this chapter. Tagashi is a genius. And uh, I just finished Yu Yu Hakushu.
just just finished it the other day. What an what an amazing thing. Anyway, loved it. Hang out Thursday. Be there seven. What was it? Eight p.m. Eastern. All right, or whatever your local time is. That's where you can get that. Well, anyway, <laughs> until next time. Take care.